Chapter 931, Talisman Soul Seal Secret Technique After Jinkai displayed his strength, it was obvious what the female in black specialized in, the soul. This position was originally supposed to be Zhao Feng's, but he had taken the position of Beast Tamer instead. Old Man Ji Yi Xiang from the Void Ocean Pavilion would like to challenge Lady Su Kingling. A peaceful-looking elder holding a staff slowly walked out from the Ninth Prince's Hall. Before the fight for the positions started, the forces that didn't manage to obtain a spot would analyze everyone who had a spot and discuss who would be the easiest to replace. Shi Yulai came from one of the eight big families, and he was a peerless genius from the previous generation. There were no flaws in him or the power behind him. Old Ying was originally part of the Imperial Sky Nets upper echelon, and he specialized in sensing and tracking. Apparently, he also had a lot of information regarding the Imperial Tombs. Old Ying also had the battle power of a quasi-sacred lord. No one would challenge such an important member of the team. Zhou Suer was once the Sacred Emperor's most favored princess, and her fame as a healer had spread long ago. Even the Imperial doctors praised her. No one knew too much about her, but since she was an Imperial, it was best not to offend her. Shan Chitsa's fame had spread across the Great Gan Lord Dynasty a hundred years ago, and very few people specialized in divination. Most forces didn't even have one person that was capable of divination. As for Zhao Feng, he had a pet from the 10,000 ancient races. No one had any hope of victory against him unless they had a mystic light realm pet. Therefore, there were only two options, Jing Kai and Su Kingling. Su Kingling was part of the younger generation, and she was not very famous. The force behind her was Grand Duke Su's palace which was the weakest of the ten Grand Duke Palaces and the only Grand Duke Palace that supported the Ninth Prince. The representative from Grand Duke Su's palace within the Ninth Prince's hall stroked his beard and gave a faint smile. He wasn't worried at all. Su Kingling slowly walked out, and a slightly old voice sounded, as you wish. Wang. A surge of soul intent appeared from Ji Yi Xiong and turned into dozens of white beams that shot toward Su Kingling. Soul Beams. Ji Yi Xiong circulated his soul intent, and the several dozen white soul beams were connected by a surge of strong soul strength to form a large, condensed soul beam. This attack had a powerful momentum that seemed like it could push Su Kingling's soul out of her body. Su Kingling had a calm expression as a cold soul power radiated from her body. Shield, Su Kingling gently said as she twirled her hands and seemed to write something in the air. Soon, her soul power started to spread as a giant soul talisman seal instantly floated in the air and turned into a soul shield. What a weird soul secret technique. A light flashed through Ji Yi Xiang's eyes. He had heard of the talisman soul seal secret technique before, but he didn't expect to see it today. Boom. The soul beam landed on the soul shield, and the clash shook the souls of the weaker cultivators. The soul beam and soul shield both crumbled after a fierce exchange. Su Kingling's defensive technique had completely blocked Ji Xiang's attack. Try to take this move. Soul Prison. Ji Xiang roared as his white hair blew in the wind, and a large amount of white soul power appeared. Wang Wang. White beams appeared above Su Kingling and formed a prison that crushed down with a mountainous soul intent. This was a wide range soul technique meant to restrain. Su Kingling's soul technique was completely countered. Zhao Feng's expression changed. The power of this elder's soul was strong, but this soul prison used up way too much energy and didn't have as strong of an effect compared to Zhao Feng's soul chains. On the other hand, Su Kingling's soul secret technique was extremely profound. Zhao Feng could only find one name for it in his memory, Talisman Soul Seal Secret Technique. Ice, Seal. The expression of the girl in black didn't change. She raised her head and drew a giant soul talisman seal with each hand. Wang Tilda. The two soul talisman seals released a wave of soul power that crashed into the soul prison. Part of Ji Yi Xiang's soul prison was instantly sealed by soul intent, and its power decreased. At the same time, a cold soul power swept over and created a layer of ice on the soul prison. After being sealed in ice, the soul prison posed no threat at all. At this moment, Su Kingling walked a few steps forward and exited the range of the soul prison. Sword Su Kingling's eyes were cold as she raised her arm, and a weird soul power fluttered. I admit defeat. Ji Yi Xiang sighed helplessly. The soul prison had already used up the majority of his soul intent. Furthermore, Su Kingling's soul secret technique was extremely weird, and his own technique was nowhere near the forgotten talisman soul seal secret technique. 
The fight came to an end, and many experts that were planning on competing for this position instantly retreated. Many people didn't even see through Sue Kingling's soul techniques, and the people around the arena finally inspected this female for real. Zhao Feng had to admit that her mastery of the soul wasn't bad, but her soul intent wasn't very strong or else she would have been able to release much more battle power. While her secret technique was strong, it required natural talent and wasn't suitable for those with soul-based eye bloodlines. While the Ninth Prince doesn't have many members, all of them are elites. Duke Nanfeng gave a faint smile as his eyes became slightly more confident. The Ninth Prince's eyes also lit up. The battle power Su Kingling displayed was good. On the side, the representative from Grand Duke Su's palace gave an admiring smile toward Su Kingling. Su Kingling had inherited this mysterious technique in the Divine Illusion Dimension and had only comprehended part of it so far. After Jing Kai and Su Kingling both showed their battle power, no one challenged the Ninth Prince's members. Su Kingling's unique soul techniques even made the other members in the arena feel solemn. Although there weren't many forces that supported the Ninth Prince, the members of his group were relatively outstanding. After the fight ended, Zhao Feng started to pay more attention to the other arenas. The battles in the arenas of the lowly ranked princes were extremely fierce because these princes had no intention to actually become the crown prince, which meant they didn't pose any threat to the other princes. Their groups were designed more for individual benefits. Zhao Feng paid most of his attention to the princes ranked in the top four, the fourth prince, the thirteenth prince, the seventh prince, and the eighth prince. With a thought, Zhao Feng looked toward the arena of the thirteenth prince. Tangzi from the ground demon cult would like to fight with the main battle power person. An elder with a deadly gaze and purple and black robes looked at a figure in black robes. The ground demon cult was a three-star superpower that supported the 13th prince, and the black-robed main battle power person was someone that the 13th prince personally hired to take up one of the main fighting positions. However, the other members didn't even know what his name was, they only knew that he was a quasi-sacred lord. Therefore, Many forces that supported the 13th prince were eyeing this spot. The black-robed figure slowly stood up, and an aura of death spread. Come, a raspy voice sounded in the soul dimension. An expert that is biased toward the soul. Tang Zi was surprised. Although he didn't specialize in the soul, it wasn't his weakness either. However, if the opponent specialized in the soul, that meant that their physical skills were weak. Tang Zi revealed a deadly smile and opened his little world. The little world of a quasi-sacred lord was the limit of what a true world could withstand. A dark and cold little world appeared behind Tang Zi and filled the entire arena. Invisible laws and intents started to restrict the black-robed figure. Die. Tang Zi's battle power doubled when he was in his own little world, and he charged over like a demonic sovereign. Hump. The black-robed figure snickered coldly, and a long thin arm covered in bandages appeared the instant Tang Zi charged over. At the same moment, a surge of death-based soul power appeared. Hu Tilda. The black-robed figure's power swept over Tang Zi's body, and a strong surge of death laws appeared and attracted everyone's attention. Tang Zi froze as the true Yuan, life force, and soul within his body were sucked away by a whirlpool of death. The terrifying aura of death covered Tang Zi and all his pores. Arg, don't. Tang Zi screamed as the little world of darkness on the arena slowly faded away. Who? The black-robed figure took back his arm. His robes shifted, and a dried corpse fell. S2. Everyone within the 13th prince's hall felt their hearts go cold, and those that were preparing to take his spot felt cold sweat appear on their backs. They had just passed by death itself. Who was this black-robed person? What kind of technique was that? It was extremely mysterious and powerful. With just a wave of his arm, he killed an expert of the ground demon cult and in such a gruesome manner too. He didn't go easy on him at all. The experts of the other forces from the other arenas who were watching were stunned as well. They felt their souls tremble just from looking at the black-robed person. They were all quasi-sacred lords too, but this black-robed person was extremely strong. Sin Muhang, Zhuan Yuan Wen, and company on the fourth prince's arena all had solemn expressions when they looked at the figure in black robes. Those with the ugliest expressions were the members that specialized in soul battles because they were the ones that would be in charge of facing soul attacks when they entered the imperial tombs. Because they specialized in the soul, they knew just how terrifying that figure in black was. What a strong surge of death soul intent, Su Kingling said with surprise. The intent of death. 
Zhao Feng circulated his left eye, but he wasn't able to see through the black robes because there was a mysterious power that stopped him. The sole intent of this figure in black wasn't weaker than his own, and the intent of death made Zhao Feng remember the Emperor of Death, but this figure in black was even stronger and more terrifying. As I expected. The people behind the top-ranked princes are not simple. An elder from the ground demon cult instantly stood up and released his sacred lord aura as he looked at the figure in black with anger. You're not leaving any room for survival, are you? If you don't give the ground demon cult a good explanation after the battle to become crown prince ends. Humph. Although the black-robed person was strong, he was one person, while the ground demon cult was a three-star superpower. They weren't able to take this lying down. The black-robed figure didn't reply. He simply sat back down, and the two members next to him hiccuped. Chapter 932, Unparalleled Heaven Battling Bloodline The appearance of the figure in black robes caused the fierce fights over the positions to quiet down. He killed a quasi-sacred lord from the ground demon cult with cruel and terrifying power. This terrified the members behind the princes that had no intention of becoming the crown prince. They weren't very strong, and if they met the black-robed person in the imperial tombs, they would definitely die. Some geniuses who were planning to challenge him instantly stopped their footsteps. The rate of death amongst the trial to become crown prince was quite low. If the forces behind the opposition didn't have any life or death enmity, they usually wouldn't kill the loser since they wanted to avoid unnecessary conflict. This meant that the danger of entering the trial was rather low, but this black-robed person didn't seem to care about any of that. He didn't even put the three-star ground demon hall in his eyes and just killed Tang Zi right on stage. The strength of this black-robed person made even some sacred lords wary. This person would single-handedly increase the rate of death within the trial to become crown prince. A powerful male behind the 13th prince recovered from his shock and immediately sent the 13th prince a message, Jinner. Did you recruit this member? Uncle, he's not bad, right? The 13th prince had a smug expression. He was extremely satisfied with this core battle member. He's very strong, but you need to watch out. The expression of the powerful male kept on changing. This black-robed male was extremely mysterious and strong. He wasn't even scared of the three-star ground demon hall, so why would he help Zhou Chen? The 13th prince didn't take his uncle's words to heart. He looked coldly toward Zhao Feng. The trial to become crown prince is where you will die. As the sparring on the other arenas continued, everyone's attention started to move away from the black-robed person. After all, some of the people present were also peerless geniuses that had been famous for hundreds of years, and each one of them had strong battle power. On the other hand, the arena of the ninth prince was quiet, and no one came to challenge any of them. All the members were silent as well. Su Kingling's talent in the Soul Dao made the Ninth Prince's team happy, but the black-robed person made them depressed. The death soul intent that the black-robed person displayed completely surpassed Su Kingling's soul intent, and even Jing Kai felt that only death would await him if he fought the black-robed person. Don't be tricked by what you see. If that person's soul intent is so strong, it means that his physical body is his weakness. As long as we maintain a distance and use long-range attacks, we can win. Old Ying had a grim expression as he slowly spoke, and his words calmed everyone's fear. Just like what Old Ying said, that was the best way to deal with soul-based experts. While they were using their soul techniques, they could be easily assassinated. For example, when Zhao Feng used his soul chains or his gaze of the god eye, he was basically unable to move or do anything else without messing up his technique. When the black-robed person killed Tang Zi with his soul intent, if someone had ambushed him from the side, he probably would have been heavily injured, and they would have been able to save Tang Zi. Therefore, the trial to become crown prince required good teamwork. Zhao Feng suddenly revealed a smile as he turned toward the arena of the eighth prince. Kao Ling from the Kao family would like to challenge Yu Tianao of the Yu family. A middle-aged male with a muscular figure looked at a handsome youth with closed eyes. Yu Tianao's going to fight now. The Kao family only has one spot amongst the 8th prince's group while the Yu family has two. There was obviously going to be a fight amongst them. Yu Tiao now has the unparalleled heaven battling bloodline, so it's reasonable for the Yu family to have two spots. The unparalleled heaven battling bloodline? Discussion broke out. Everyone had only heard of Yu Tiao now's unparalleled heaven battling bloodline and never actually seen it before. Therefore, in everyone's eyes, 
it would be easier to replace Yu Tiao now in comparison to the others since he was so young. However, due to the power of the Yu family, which was one of the eight big families, not just anyone dared to take it from him. While the Cao family was weaker than it was in its prime, it was still one of the eight big families, so they had the right to compete. Yu Tiao now suddenly stood up, and a surge of battle intent appeared in his eyes. Everyone around the arena felt a shocking battle intent rise into the sky. The will to battle within their bodies seemed to awaken as well. Cao Long gave a satisfied smile. It looked like Yu Tiana wasn't someone without strength who only depended on the Yu family. Dang. Cao Ling suddenly leapt into the air and turned into a black shadow that charged over with the momentum of a storm. Unparalleled under the heavens. A powerful intent radiated from Yu Tianao's body as he took action. A blazing light shot out from Yu Tianao's palm. Rising wind punch. In the next instant, Cao Ling's black fist clashed with it. Boom. They both took a few steps back before steadying themselves. Whoosh. Cao Ling's figure turned into a streak of dark light once more, appeared above Yu Tianao, and kicked downward. Mountain crushing kick. Powerful intent with the pressure of heaven and earth appeared on the leg. It seemed to become Mount Tai as it crushed downward, and everyone else watching found it hard to breathe. They had to circulate their true Yuan to protect themselves. Unparalleled. A supreme intent surged from Yu Tianao's body. Boom. A mysterious giant palm surrounded by orange light pushed upward and engulfed everything that it passed. Boom. Boom. Cao Ling's thunderous attack was instantly destroyed but there was no sign of Cao Ling. Sky Cracking Palm Cao Ling was like an arc of lightning as he appeared on Yu Tianao's left side, and a surge of sharp air shot out and blew away the dust nearby. As expected of the Cao family, he moves like lightning, and his attacks are as strong as mountains. I heard that the minimum requirement to become a core disciple of the Cao family is train 10 middle-tier earth-grade battle techniques to their peak. The Cao family is apparently full of close combat masters, and they have some body strengthening techniques. Everyone praised Cao Ling's powerful intent and thunderous attacks. Golden Blazing Point Chaos Sky Opening Palm Cao Ling had countless close combat techniques. As expected of one of the eight big families, looks like I will have to use my true strength. Yu Tianao's eyes glittered as a certain bloodline seemed to burn and ignite within his body. Wu Tilda an ancient and mysterious figure in the shape of a human appeared and moved in sync with Yu Tianao's body. The dim orange light around Yu Tianao's body released a brilliant glow of light, and a mental energy battle intent shot into the air. Yu Tianao's every action was in sync with the cold figure behind him. His every movement contained battle intent that was enough to scare gods and ghosts alike, and it destroyed all the powers around him. Kaling felt as if a deity was looking down on him, and all his powers were suppressed. Some of the kings and emperors present felt like they had been struck by lightning. They had to circulate their true yuan in order to resist the pressure. On the arena, a surge of battle intent clashed with the barrier, and a sacred lord from the Yu family instantly released the same power to form another barrier and protect everyone. At the same time, he had a faint smile as he looked at the cold figure behind Yu Tianao's back. Oh my god! It really is the unparalleled heaven battling bloodline. Apparently, this bloodline can be ranked within the top 10 Imperial Dao bloodlines. What battle intent? I probably wouldn't even be able to stand in front of him. The hearts of countless experts in the sky shook. They could feel a strong surge of battle intent even from a thousand miles away. The expressions of Tai Hongnan and the others from the Tai family within the Fourth Prince's Hall had grim expressions. The Tai family and the Yu family both guarded the northwestern borders, and the two families had a lot of conflicts with each other. The heaven battling bloodline of the Yu family was slightly weaker than the Blood Devil Sun bloodline, but the rumored unparalleled heaven battling bloodline was unrivaled and even slightly stronger than the perfect Blood Devil Sun bloodline. However, the Yu family had regained this bloodline once again while the perfect Blood Devil Sun bloodline of the Tai family was in the body of some outsider who didn't even have the Tai surname. The expressions of the people within the Eighth Prince's Hall went faintly red. The Yu family was one of the biggest supporters of the Eighth Prince and Yu Tianao's unparalleled heaven-battling bloodline was extremely powerful. The Eighth Prince looked at the arena with excitement. He had finally managed to persuade the Yu family at the last moment, and the unexpected joining of the Ji family instantly increased his overall strength dramatically. On the arena, 
Cao Ling didn't show any signs of weakness when facing the Yu Tianao who had become much stronger. A surge of heaven and earth power covered him and barely managed to block Yu Tianao's intent. Divine Force Punch Cao Ling used this force to close in on Yu Tianao as he gathered his true Yuan and punched out. Unparalleled under the heavens. Yu Tianao used this skill once more, and with the addition of his unparalleled heaven battling bloodline, its power increased by several times as the cold figure behind him also thrust a palm out. A beam of orange light shot out and crushed everything in its path before throwing Cao Ling out of the arena. Who? The fight came to an end. The powerful bloodline shook the hearts of the other fighters in each of the arenas. Shi Yulai on the Ninth Prince's arena had a solemn expression while Jing Kai faintly lowered his head. The figure behind Yu Tianao slowly faded away, and he suddenly started talking in an excited tone in the direction of the Ninth Prince's arena, let's have another fight. Many gazes instantly turned toward the Ninth Prince's arena. Who is it that the owner of the Yu family's unparalleled heaven battling bloodline would personally ask to fight? Was there someone from the Ninth Prince's team with comparable battle power? The members of the Ninth Prince's group were surprised and looked at one another. Who was Yu Tianao talking to? It wasn't a good thing for someone with such battle power to keep an eye on them. Shi Yulai and Jing Kai immediately shook their heads and signaled that they had never seen Yu Tianao before. Boom. No one had recovered from the exciting fight yet when suddenly, on the 13th Prince's side, a fierce battle erupted between Shi Peng, an old genius from Nine Darkness Palace, and a challenger from a Grand Duke Palace. Two mechanism masters on the 12th Prince's arena had also started their exchange as well. All the fights for the positions were extremely fierce. Only a small number of people could just sit there and watch everything calmly. The countless forces in the sky and those within the surrounding halls could feel that the fights for the positions were coming to an end. The ten princes in the hall stood up instinctively and felt a wave pass through their hearts. Jing Kai, who was next to Zhao Feng, suddenly felt his body go numb. He turned toward Zhao Feng, but he didn't find anything out of ordinary. Zhao Feng gave a faint smile and was secretly overjoyed. I didn't expect the power of the ancient lightning to be able to merge into my god tribulation lightning soul body. Looks like my soul should be called the lightning soul body then. Chapter 933, Taking Action Zhao Feng's soul originally only contained the power of god tribulation lightning. He was just giving it a try and didn't expect to succeed. The power of ancient lightning within the black wood was absorbed into his soul, but instead of coexisting with the god tribulation lightning, it merged directly into his soul. It was as if Zhao Feng's soul could be refined by absorbing the power of ancient lightning. At the same time, the power of god tribulation lightning also became slightly stronger. Zhao Feng instantly felt his soul become more condensed, similar to the feeling when the ancient ore emerged into his soul. Zhao Feng then directed his attention toward the other ten arenas. Eh? He actually managed to merge those two opposite powers together? Zhao Feng was slightly surprised as he looked at Luo Zun's battle on the Eighth Prince's arena. Luo Zun had completed his little world, and it was extremely unique. The bottom half of his little world was ice while the top half was fire. However, they didn't affect each another. To be able to do such a thing, Luo Zun had already surpassed most older emperors, and from the looks of it, Luo Zun had gained a lot in the divine illusion dimension by relying on the spiritual connection rat. Elsewhere, a scholar on the Seventh Prince's arena trapped another array master and won. The battles for the positions are coming to an end. Let me tell you a bit about the trial to become crown prince, Old Ying's voice suddenly sounded, and everyone turned toward him. They knew that Old Ying knew the most information about the imperial tombs and the fight to become crown prince. Firstly, Draconic Providence is a key factor in the trials and in how the victor is decided. All of you should know this. Everyone knew that the ruler of the Lord Dynasty could gather the Providence within their territory and use it to consolidate their status. Of course, those that had been appointed by the Imperials also received some Providence, but normal people could only use part of the Providence's power while those with the Imperial bloodline could turn it into Draconic Providence, which was more powerful and had more techniques. When Imperial experts are about to die, they will take their Draconic Providence into another dimension, and after hundreds of millions of years, this dimension will become a dimension filled with Draconic Providence. Old Ying had a respectful look in his eyes as he spoke. Everyone apart from Shi Yulai and Shen Chitsa were surprised. They didn't know that the Great Gan Lord Dynasty had ruled for such a long time, 
and they looked forward to this journey to a dimension that was filled with draconic providence. We are supporting the Ninth Prince. As long as we gather enough draconic providence, the Ninth Prince can use it to gain almost infinite power. Old Ying had a solemn expression as he emphasized this point. The seven of them were here to support the Ninth Prince. Everyone knew this, but they didn't know just how important this point was. Most people came here to find fortune or inheritances or use the ancient dimension to find their own breakthrough point. At the same time, they knew what Old Ying meant. As long as there was enough draconic providence, the Ninth Prince would be able to become stronger. In other words, the Emperor level Ninth Prince could reach the level of a sacred lord or even higher with the addition of draconic providence. The other princes could as well. Remember, this is the fight to become crown prince. If the ninth prince becomes the crown prince, the forces behind you will reap limitless benefits. The rise and fall of the eight big families mainly come from the outcome of the crown prince trial. Old Ying tried extremely hard to make everyone willing to help the ninth prince. Shi Yu Lai seemed to remember something from his family and faintly nodded his head. Zhao Feng felt that the trial to become the crown prince was more of a game after knowing some of the rules. One didn't even need to think, all they needed to know was that the winner would be the team with the most draconic providence. Could it be that providence is also related to who can enter the imperial tombs? Zhao Feng suddenly thought of something. There was a certain rule in the fight for the positions, the challenger's cultivation couldn't exceed the person currently holding the position. The ninth prince only had seven spots, and the cultivation of each member was relatively low. On the other hand, the thirteenth prince had twelve spots. The others were speechless. This simple information had already spread across the entire outside world, but Zhao Feng didn't even know about it. That's right, entering the dimension requires the power of providence. The higher one's cultivation, the more providence is required. This is the rule set by the Imperials. Old Yun paused for a moment as well before explaining it to Zhao Feng. The more support a prince received, the more providence they would have. This meant that they would be able to take in more people and people who had higher cultivation. The forces supporting the ninth prince were extremely weak, so he couldn't take many people in. Old Ying and Shi Lai were two quasi-sacred lords, while the princes ranked in the top five almost all had true sacred lords in their group. Negotiation and recruitment are also tests for the princes. Old Ying sighed helplessly. Although that was the saying, a lot was related to the forces supporting each prince. Since the ninth prince was of low birth and wasn't favored by the sacred emperor, the forces supporting him weren't strong either. There's also a few other things, but I'll tell you all after we enter. Old Ying only talked about some simple so that Zhao Feng and Zhou Suer would finally know a bit about the trial to become crown prince. The others instantly rolled their eyes at these two. What were they thinking by participating in the crown prince trial when they didn't even know the most basic rules? The fights for the positions have ended, Su Qingling said faintly. At this moment in time, the ten princes walked out. Because of what Old Ying just said, everyone felt a heavy mood. Zhao Feng also felt that he was now involved in a clash between the entire Lord Dynasty, but if the ninth prince was able to win, it would greatly benefit the Ocean Smoke Pavilion. Only two or three positions in total had changed among the highly ranked princes groups. The groups with the most changes came from the princes that were ranked extremely lowly. Since they had no intention of actually fighting the others to become the crown prince, they were more nonchalant when choosing their members. The seventh-ranked ninth prince was an exception. Old Ying knew that the ninth prince had started his preparations a long time ago and tried very hard. He had managed to persevere this whole time. Although the overall strength of his team was quite weak, he had chosen elites from these weaker forces and personally went to other places to persuade people. For example, the ninth prince personally went to invite Zhao Feng four years ago. Boom. A surge of invisible draconic providence appeared in the imperial palace and changed the color of the heaven and earth. Everyone felt a surge of limitless power, this power controlled everything, including their lives. Welcome to the trial to become crown prince. Now that the fights for the positions have come to an end, the trial will soon begin. A male in golden dragon robes stood behind the main hall of the imperial palace and spoke. He was surrounded by Draconic Providence, and his words resonated across heaven and earth with the help of Draconic Providence. Next to the Sacred Emperor was a stunning female who wore a crown made from gold and jade. She wore extremely bright robes that had phoenixes drawn over them. Several faint supreme auras appeared within the Great Hall. Wang Tilda A stone tablet suddenly flew out from the hall. 
It radiated golden light as it appeared above the martial arts field. The golden light around the stone tablet slowly fell and landed in front of everyone on the arena. When Zhao Feng's hand touched the golden light, it turned into a gray, dim dragon-shaped jade pendant. All the others nearby had the same jade pendant in their hands. The ten princes each held the jade seal, which gave off a faint white and golden dragon-shaped light that blinked. This is dragon jade, and draconic providence will automatically be stored inside. The princes have a pseudo-crown prince seal, which can evolve into the real crown prince seal. Old Ying knew that no one in the group knew about it and explained it to them. The dragon jades in our hands are related to the pseudo-crown prince seals to a certain degree. Wang Tilda The stone tablet in the air started to spin, and immeasurable draconic providence of the imperial capital started to gather toward it. Many mysterious drawings on the stone tablet started to light up, and it started to radiate an ancient and desolate Torah. The trial has begun. A voice sounded from the Great Hall. It managed to resound throughout the Imperial Palace even without the help of Draconic Providence. Who Tilda? A dark silver light shot out from the center of the stone tablet, and a terrifying spatial undulation was unleashed. More Draconic Providence was sucked in, and this dark silver light formed a chaotic screen. Go! The fourth prince and his team members charged forward. Zhuan Yuan Wen and a sacred lord from Sky Suspension Palace were the fastest as they entered it with a flash. Mother, I will become the crown prince. The thirteenth prince looked at the female in front of the great hall before rushing toward the spatial screen. Go. The ninth prince also rushed toward the twisting screen, and the other princes followed as well. The members on the arenas all leapt into the screen. Elder Hongnan. I will defeat that so-called perfect blood devil sun bloodline. The red-haired male from the Tai family turned into a ball of fire and blasted past everyone else to enter the screen. Zhao Feng also followed the group and headed toward the screen, but suddenly, an aura of death appeared next to Zhao Feng. Hmm? Zhao Feng's expression changed slightly. He hadn't used a secret technique to go in as fast as possible, he just went along with everyone else. Zhao Feng didn't expect someone to cut in line and head toward him like he was trying to go in before Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng hated this aura very much because it reminded him of the Emperor of Death. However, while others might be scared of the black-robed person, Zhao Feng wasn't. Zhao Feng circulated his sacred lightning body and punched toward the side. If the black-robed person wanted to cut in line, then they would have to take this punch from Zhao Feng. Being an expert that specialized in the soul. The black-robed person's physical defense shouldn't have been too strong, so he would most likely retreat. Who? The black-robed person seemed to be blind as he just continued to move forward. This person. Zhao Feng's expression became grim. While the black-robed person gave off the feeling that he wanted to cut in line, there was a faint soul disturbance containing the intent of death coming from him. Chapter 934, Splitting Up the black-robed person seemed to be blind as he just continued to move forward. This person. Zhao Feng's expression became grim. While the black-robed person gave off the feeling that he wanted to cut in line, there was a faint soul disturbance containing the intent of death coming from him. Boom. Zhao Feng's punch landed on the black-robed person's left arm, but at the same time, the soul attack from this black-robed person also attacked Zhao Feng's soul. God Tribulation Lightning flashed in Zhao Feng's dark purple soul and instantly destroyed the intent of death that attacked his soul. At the same time, Zhao Feng's punch shattered the black-robed person's elbow and ripped apart the black robes, revealing a skinny and withered arm. The arm was covered in bandages and had countless profound black talisman markings drawn all over it. Zhao Feng withstood the soul attack of the black-robed person while the black-robed person didn't defend himself against Zhao Feng's physical attack at all. Humph. Zhao Feng harumphed coldly as he entered the screen. Crippling one arm was just to teach this black-robed person a lesson. However, what happened next made the eyes of everyone who hadn't entered yet go wide. The black-robed person's arm started to recover and move just like before. The black robe that was ripped off also recovered and hit his arm. Zhao Feng only saw a slight part of this since he already entered the screen. What kind of wicked technique is that? His recovery speed is even stronger than Mystic Light Realm Sacred Lords. Idiot, that isn't even recovery. Have you seen clothes recover after being ripped up? That death soul attack from the black-robed person didn't even harm Zhao Feng. At this moment, the people that hadn't entered the Imperial Tombs yet were completely stunned. 
The mysteriousness and the strength displayed by the black-robed person made everyone retreat and refuse to go near him. Zhao Feng wasn't to be underestimated either. He took the black-robed person's soul attack head-on without flinching. One had to know that the quasi-sacred Lord Tangzi had been killed without any resistance by the black-robed person's soul attack. Zhou Suer was also amongst this group. Since she was a doctor, she wasn't in a rush. She was the last member of the Ninth Prince's team, and she saw this scene. Big Brother Black Robes, please go in first. Senior Black Robes, please enter. The experts that were about to enter the screen instantly retreated and started to smile, but their backs were drenched in cold sweat. Zhao Feng. A raspy voice that made one's hair stand on end came from the black robed person before he entered the screen. The various forces also witnessed the scene of Zhao Feng clashing with the black robed person. They felt stunned and incredulous. Only some of the stronger families and forces seemed to guess something. An elder from Ground Demon Hall suddenly remembered something, and his expression went grim before he gave a deep sigh. Shu. Zhao Feng appeared in an ancient forest and felt his body and soul become heavy as a surge of ancient pressure appeared. This was an aura that had been through the ancient and immemorial eras. Zhao Feng had the feeling that he had entered the ancient dream realm. Because of the ancient dream realm aura inside him, most of the pressure on Zhao Feng's body suddenly disappeared, as if Zhao Feng had gained the recognition of this place. The pressure here was far weaker compared to the ancient dream realm, and it only affected Zhao Feng a little bit. The Ninth Prince and the other team members were also here. What a strong spatial pressure. Zhou Suer followed Zhao Feng's footsteps, and her face went slightly red when she arrived. She felt that it was hard to breathe or even take a step. Get used to it. The Dragon Jade will absorb the faint draconic providence in the air, and you can use it to lower the pressure that the dimension imposes on you. Old Ying immediately explained, and he paused for a moment when he looked at Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng didn't seem to feel uncomfortable at all and he even seemed to be extremely compatible with this dimension. What was going on? Even if he cultivated a body-strengthening technique and had stronger resistance toward the pressure, the pressure here was very powerful and could repel all foreign objects. Those with lower cultivations would be unable to move at all, they could only lie on the ground. The others also felt that Zhao Feng's situation was different from theirs. Even Shi Yu Lai, who was a body cultivator, felt that the air was heavy. Everyone's here. Our dragon jades are connected to the Ninth Prince's pseudo-seal, so we were able to arrive at the same place even though we came in at different times, Old Ying spoke quickly. It was obvious that time was of great importance. The dragon jades and the pseudo-crown prince seal will automatically absorb the famed draconic providence in the air, but because of that, our efficiency will be rather low if we stay together. Old Ying picked up his dragon jade. It was dim and had no light. It was obvious that all the draconic providence nearby had been completely absorbed. The originally bright pseudo crown prince seal in the ninth prince's hand was now only giving a faint glow. This was because they just used the providence within the pseudo seal to enter the imperial tombs. Which means we have to split up, Old Ying said in a solemn tone. Everyone also guessed that this would happen because they could feel how important draconic providence was. Without draconic providence, they would be restrained by the pressure of the ancient dimension, which would reduce their battle power. Under the strong pressure of the ancient dimension, they couldn't even fly. Only sacred lords would be able to barely fly. However, if one had enough draconic providence, they could use it to resist the pressure of the ancient dimension and momentarily fly in the air. We have eight people, so splitting into three groups would be best. Zhao Feng, Shen Chitsa, and I will all lead one or two people. Who do you all want to go with? Old Ying scanned over the group and suggested. Su Kingling, Jing Kai, and Shi Yu Lai all paused for a moment. They had no disagreements with Old Ying and Shen Chitsa leading a group since they were both experienced elders. Old Ying specialized in tracking and sensing, so he could avoid danger, while Shen Chitsa knew divination and could guess where danger and misfortune were. But why was Zhao Feng a leader as well? Was it because he was a beast tamer and needed protection? I'll go with Old Ying. Jing Kai immediately went to Old Ying's side. After witnessing the fights for the positions, Jing Kai felt that his strength was only average amongst the members specializing in battle. Old Ying was a quasi sacred lord, and he was very experienced. Following him would mean he would be safe, and he would also be able to learn some things. The others looked at the ninth prince, who was standing next to Old Ying. This meant that Old Ying's team already had three people total. I'll go with Shen Chitsa, 
Shi Yulai and Su Kingling said at the same time and immediately walked over to Shen Chitsa. I don't need a doctor, Zhao Feng immediately said. Zhou Suer was the only one remaining, but she was completely useless to Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng's body was extremely sturdy, and he had the water and wood of wind lightning to heal himself and recover his true yuan. He also had the green water sky lotuses and hundred origin fruit juice. A healer was the last thing he needed, any other member of the team would be more useful than Zhou Suer. You. Zhou Suer's face went red with embarrassment. She had witnessed the exchange between Zhao Feng and the black-robed person a moment ago, so she was confident in Zhao Feng's strength and thought that it would be fine to be his partner. She didn't expect Zhao Feng to suddenly reject her. All of you can go. I will be going with Zhao Feng today, Zhou Suer's voice sounded. Just because Zhao Feng didn't want a healer, did that mean he wouldn't get one? If she just followed what Zhao Feng said, wouldn't that be an even greater loss of face than being rejected? Zhou Suer didn't want Zhao Feng to do as he pleased, so she immediately walked up to him, as if saying that she was definitely going to go with him. The other members looked at Zhao Feng and Zhou Suer and felt somewhat embarrassed. Although they had a bad impression of Zhao Feng and didn't really like him, it wasn't really suitable for the Beast Tamer and the Doctor, who both had low battle power, to go together. The beasts within the imperial tombs had all bathed in ancient auras and draconic providence, making them extremely fierce and deadly. Old Ying spoke just as they were pondering what to do, if that's the case, then let's take action. This is part of the map for the imperial tombs, as well as some information regarding the trial. Old Ying gave everyone a booklet containing information. N. Let's go. Shen Chitsa also gave a faint smile as he took the booklet and got ready to move. Shi Yu Lai. Su Kingling, and Jing Kai all faltered for a moment. Old Ying and Shen Chitsa, who were both rather experienced, seemed to approve of this unbalanced duo. What was going on? Were Old Ying and Shen Chitsa not worried that a team comprised of a beast tamer and a doctor would die here? However, since the two of them had no disagreements about it, they had nothing to say either, so they took the booklets and started to remember the information. Old Ying and Shen Chitsa led their groups and left. Before the Ninth Prince left, he looked at Zhao Feng, Brother Zhao, with your display in the Divine Illusion Dimension, the Imperial Tombs won't be too difficult for you. You will definitely be able to protect Elder Sister Suer. Zhao Feng rolled his eyes and started to think. Old Ying and Shen Chitsa had most likely discussed this already and purposely gave the doctor to him. Zhao Feng looked over the information and instantly understood. Doctors were basically useless in the early stages and would only come into play later. There was a lot of information within the booklet, including which areas had dangerous beasts and which places had inheritances that no one had managed to obtain yet. However, Zhao Feng first needed to confirm his location. Tang. Zhao Feng leapt into the air and landed on the peak of a nearby tree. After jumping into the air, Zhao Feng then rose another couple meters and gazed down with his god's spiritual eye to see everything within a couple dozen thousand miles. Zhao Feng even saw some other figures about 10,000 miles away. Zhou Suer was dazed as she looked at Zhao Feng, who was floating in midair. You can fly here? Zhou Suer asked in shock. Her dragon jade hadn't absorbed any draconic providence at all yet, and she couldn't resist the pressure of this dimension. She found it hard to even walk, but Zhao Feng seemed like he was still in their original dimension. He could easily jump around and float in the air. How did Zhao Feng do such a thing without any draconic providence? Zhao Feng didn't reply to Zhou Suer. He simply waved his left hand, and a giant Yao bird appeared and flew into the distance. This Yao bird was the one that usually protected the ancient Dream Realm fruits, and it was now a late stage king. Since it was a being from the ancient Dream Realm, it was completely unaffected by the laws of heaven and earth in the imperial tombs, and it could actually fly even faster here. The ancient and desolate aura coming from its body scared away all the nearby beasts flying in the air. Chapter 935, Dragon Jade Protection After confirming his location and inspecting all possible dangers nearby, Zhao Feng descended to the ground. We are at the edge of the Imperial Tombs, which isn't very dangerous. The inheritance of Sacred Lord Dark Sky is the closest inheritance to us. Zhao Feng used the information to match with his map. The inheritances near the edges were usually rank lowly but they weren't concerned only with inheritances, they also wanted draconic providence. 
Inheritances contained the remnant draconic providence of an imperial sacred lord, and if one managed to conquer the inheritance, not only would they receive the actual inheritance itself, they would also receive its draconic providence. On an individual level, Zhao Feng placed greater importance on the resources and funerary items. Let's go to Sacred Lord Dark Sky's inheritance first. Zhao Feng started to move forward quickly while Zhou Suer was still searching for the Dark Sky inheritance on the map. Hey, wait for me. Zhou Suer was starting to slightly regret her decision. Zhao Feng was able to move without any problem, but she felt like she was moving against a strong headwind. The ancient aura around her kept hitting her, and she couldn't catch up to Zhao Feng's footsteps. Hearing her, Zhao Feng turned around. As an imperial princess, Zhou Suer definitely hadn't undergone much hardship, and she was extremely weak. Adding on the fact that she was a doctor, her body was weaker than most normal emperors. Zhao Feng waved his left hand and summoned the giant python. Zhao Feng had prepared for this, he put the two beings from the ancient dream realm into the misty spatial world. Sit, Zhao Feng said. Zhou Suer's expression changed. While this python was only a late-stage king, the fierce and deadly aura it radiated made her heart jump. However, even though the snake was fierce, Zhou Suer had to sit on it. The instant she sat on the python, Zhou Suer felt the dimension's pressure decrease, and she thought that this was extremely weird. The green-spotted snake was extremely fast, and Zhou Suer's journey was extremely easy. From the looks of it, it wasn't bad being partnered with a beast tamer. Zhao Feng, do you have any other steeds? I'll trade with you. Zhou Suer was insatiable. The snake was even faster than Zhao Feng. They soon entered a broad forest, and Zhao Feng found that there was a lot of fruit on the trees. Zhao Feng picked a couple and inspected them with his left eye, but their effects were nowhere near the fruits of the ancient dream realm, they only had about one hundredth of the effects. Come, eat a couple. Zhao Feng threw the fruits to Zhou Suer. Although they weren't very effective and didn't contain a lot of ancient aura, they should still be able to help Zhou Suer increase her resistance against the pressure. At this point, Zhou Suer's dragon jade was a bit brighter, most likely from absorbing the draconic providence in the air when they were traveling. Zhao Feng, isn't our route a bit off? Zhou Suer asked. That's right, we are a bit off. Zhao Feng didn't disagree. Why? Zhou Suer was puzzled. Why would they want to go off track? Because we're going to rob someone. Zhao Feng revealed an evil smile. Three figures suddenly jumped out from the side and saw Zhao Feng and Zhou Suer. Zhao Feng had a faint smile while Zhou Suer paused for a moment. The three were all extremely wary, but they let out a breath after seeing that it was Zhao Feng and Zhou Suer. It's just members of the Ninth Prince's team. The expression of a middle-aged male wearing a yellow coat softened. They were from the Sixth Prince's group, who was ranked 8th, which wasn't much different from the Ninth Prince's rank. They were only scared of the teams from the princes ranked in the top 5. Isn't this Grandmaster Beast Tamer Zhao Feng and the Doctor? Why would the Ninth Prince put the two of you together? A genius of the younger generation walked in front of Zhao Feng and Zhou Suer with a smug expression, and greed flashed in his eyes. The Sixth Prince had no intention to fight for Crown Prince, so all his members specialized in combat. They had entered the Imperial Tombs to find personal fortune, and they were all experts with strong battle power. The male wearing the yellow coat knew what his companion was getting at. Hand over your treasures, resources, and the draconic providence in your dragon jades, and I'll let you leave. The male wearing the yellow coat roared. The third member was an elder in black, and he immediately messaged the other two, this Zhao Feng isn't to be underestimated, and Zhou Suer is an imperial princess. Let's just go directly to the Dark Sky Inheritance. The elder in black had entered the imperial tombs a bit later so he had witnessed the exchange between Zhao Feng and the black-robed person and was slightly scared of Zhao Feng. However, the middle-aged male wearing the yellow coat and the junior both snickered. No matter how strong Zhao Feng was, he was just a beast tamer. As for Zhou Suer, she was a doctor, so her battle power could be completely ignored. Furthermore, they were just taking a few items from them, so why would they need to be scared of Zhou Suer's identity? Zhou Suer looked at Zhao Feng in a blaming way. He knew that there was danger here but came this way anyway. These three were all emperors, and they had the battle power of unrivaled emperors at the least. You want to rob three emperors by yourself? However, thinking about the fact that Zhao Feng might take out his spiritual pets to fight, Zhou Suer felt a bit more confident. Hee hee, you've got it backwards, I'm the one robbing you. 
Hand over all of your resources, including the dragon jades. Zhao Feng laughed coldly. Hearing what Zhao Feng said, the young genius and the male wearing the yellow coat paused for a moment before roaring with laughter. Ha 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 ha. A beast tamer dared to say such a thing? Rob the three of them? They had heard that Zhao Feng had an extremely strong pet, but as long as they avoided it and just defeated the owner, what kind of threat could his spiritual pets pose? The expression of the elder in black became urgent. If you're not willing to hand over your treasures, then I'll just have to make you waste the only chance of protection from your dragon jade. The young genius harumphed coldly and felt dissatisfied. Each dragon jade contained a hidden array that could help its holder escape danger once. After using it, they would be able to teleport to their prince's side. This meant that, if Zhao Feng used the hidden array in the dragon jade, Zhao Feng would appear right next to the ninth prince. This was one of the main reasons for the low death rate in the imperial tombs. Even if someone was in danger, they could use this to return to their prince's side, but only once. Go. The eyes of the yellow-clad male went cold as a long golden blade appeared in his hand. If they weren't willing to hand over their items, then he would just force them to use the protective array in their dragon jades. The young genius also started to circulate his true yuan. The elder in black felt helpless and had to take action as well. He hoped that the three of them would be able to defeat Zhao Feng. The three emperors released all their power, but their magnificent power only covered a couple hundred meters, and the undulation of their true yuan was extremely weak. Everyone's power was restricted by the pressure of the imperial tombs, so they could only use one twentieth of their full battle power in the early stages. Illusion Maze Domain Zhao Feng punched out, and the three emperors' minds blanked as they lost their consciousness and appeared in an ancient city. They had lost complete control over their bodies. At the same time, Zhao Feng's powerful physical attack made them cough out blood. Soul Chains A surge of eye intent brewed in Zhao Feng's left eye and transparent crystal-like chains of dark purple lightning passed through their souls and bound the three emperors. The three emperors' souls were unable to move after being bound by the soul chains. Don't. The elder in black could still fight back a little bit, and he prepared to use a secret technique. God tribulation lightning glittered on the dark purple chains of lightning and made the three emperors cry out before losing consciousness. Plop. The three fell to the ground. Zhao Feng's sole intent had reached the level of a sacred lord, so he could threaten even sacred lords when he used his sole secret techniques. Adding on the fact that the three emperors couldn't even use most of their power because of the dimension's pressure, they were unable to do anything against Zhao Feng at all. Zhou Su were sat on the back of the giant python with a dazed look. She originally thought that Zhao Feng would summon a spiritual pet, but he just used one punch and one glance to defeat three emperors. No wonder Old Ying and the Ninth Prince let Zhao Feng be a leader. He wasn't just a grandmaster beast tamer, his personal strength was also incredible. Adding on the exchange between Zhao Feng and the black-robed person, Zhou Suer believed more in Zhao Feng. Zhao Feng's battle power was at least comparable to the black-robed person, who insta-killed a quasi-sacred lord. Zhao Feng didn't kill the three emperors, he only made them faint. He then went to scavenge their items. These three all came from strong forces, so they obviously had many treasures. Why do you want their dragon jades? Zhou Suer couldn't help but become curious when she saw Zhao Feng taking away their dragon jades. The dragon jade contained a hidden array that would teleport the owner to their prince. This meant that, if Zhao Feng was planning to use the array in these dragon jades, he would arrive next to the sixth prince. One dragon jade might not be enough to store draconic providence, Zhao Feng replied. There was a limit to how much draconic providence each dragon jade could store, but not many people had ever reached this limit over the years because one had to use the draconic providence to resist the pressure of this dimension, and fights also required a large amount of draconic providence in order to increase the user's battle power. We can also just rob the sixth prince if we have to, Zhao Feng thought for a moment before saying. While Zhao Feng sounded arrogant, what he said was technically logical. However, Zhou Suer almost fell off the green spotted python when she heard that. You want to rob a prince? Zhou Suer asked in disbelief. One had to know that the princes were guarded by the strongest experts, and the princes themselves could use draconic providence to increase their own strength quite a bit. Not right now. In comparison to draconic providence, Zhao Feng wanted resources. The inheritances of a sacred lord would obviously have a lot of wealth. Not to mention that the sacred lords buried here were all imperials. 
The duo soon left after taking everything. The three emperors struggled and managed to stand up after a while. What's going on? Why is he so strong? The young genius was stunned. He defeated us with just one punch and one soul technique? The male and yellow couldn't believe it. Did you not realize that Zhao Feng's soul attack was extremely strong and almost completely unaffected by the restrictions of the imperial tombs? The elder in black took in a deep breath. The other two were instantly dazed. How was that possible? However, when they thought about it, they realized that those words were true. Zhao Feng's soul intent hadn't been suppressed by the imperial tombs at all, and it utterly crushed them.